I'd like to bring to the stage. Man, I really enjoyed having him in the class, and you guys are going to enjoy him too. How about a big round of applause for James Wolschlager? Let him hear it. Let's just take this. Let's move this over here to the corner with the filth. <sighs> Hello, everyone. I am James Wolschlager, but you, my fair-weather friends, you can call me Gentleman James, a name that serves a few purposes. Well, fits my modus operandi. Couldn't tell that. It keeps the length of the last name Wolschlager, but most importantly, it separates me as much as possible from sounding like a Nazi. Don't really need any help there. All right, so I'm already up here, I'm sharing. I feel like we got a real connection going out, people. So I'm gonna tell you where I'm from. I'm from the rolling hills of Connecticut, a lovely place. Thanks, with. <laughs> lovely place, got dense forests, fields of buttercups, a dying industrial complex where the crackheads roam, taxes that bleed you like a stuck pig, and nutmeg. You are having a good time back there. <laughs> All right, now I bet you're thinking, what's this fancy freak? What's he do for a living? Because this shit clearly ain't working out too well. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I work over at Target. I'm gonna stop right there. It is Target, it's not Target. You wanna be bourgeois soccer moms. <laughs> I'm glad we all are in agreement here. It's Target, you pronounce it wrong, you're an idiot. You don't sound funny, you don't sound cute, you sound annoying, like your stupid children. <laughs> Fine, I've been waiting years to say that. <laughs> yes, but retail, we all have some experience with retail. We all know it as this stress-induced hive of mismanagement and pain where all of our hopes and dreams go to die. Usually somewhere behind the milk. Yes, yeah, so I'm feeling stressed out. I feel it in my heart. It's not feeling good, people. I'm sure you all experienced that. So I, I did a bit of research. How am I gonna fix this? I don't wanna die young. I have too many insults to give out to the public. <laughs> Someone's gotta do it. You're welcome. So I'm, I'm going into this now. How am I going to relieve my stress? Well, unfortunately, most results came up with developing a crippling addiction to drugs and alcohol. And well, I don't have a family I need to ruin yet, so we're just gonna put that on the back burner for later. <laughs> Let that stew. It'll make it all the better. So I had no ideas. I decided I gotta get out of here. I gotta go home. Maybe I'll take a nice bath or trim the little bonsai tree in my room. Which sounds like a euphemism now that I say it out loud, but I promise you it's not. <laughs> all right, so I gotta get to my car. I'm in there now. I'm already feeling a little bit better. Feeling a little bit more at home. I even roll the window down, let that breeze course through my luxurious mane, or judging by the people here tonight, let the hot sun beam down on your bald spot. <laughs> Enjoy that cancer. All right, so we're in the car now. We just need to get home, but we gotta get past this crosswalk. And there appears to be some pedestrians waiting to cross. I don't like this at all, people. But I'll be the bigger man I am, after all, wearing a tie. That, that just matters for some reason. Now, first person, pregnant woman. Fair enough. Give her the wave, she walks on by. No problems there. What's this? An elderly couple. Disappointing. But it's fine. I let them by. They hobble their way over there. Now this character. This guy right here. This man... I have no respect for. One, he is wearing sandals. What's that shit about? It's not like we live in Florida, right? Oh, right. Anywho, but besides that, he looks a bit gangly. He looks a bit messed up. He's clearly a meth head. I thought we left all those fucks in Lakeland. I guess I was wrong. All right, so I wasn't gonna let this guy cross. I got no respect for this man. And you know, my word is law up here because Fuck you, that's why. So. <laughs> thank you. So, he just starts walking around. He starts his smug ass little saunter across the walk. It's going real slow, people. You know, I thought he was on meth, but there's no speed involved in this, so maybe I was wrong. 
Well, I have to do the only logical thing to end this situation. I gotta kill the guy. Now I know. That seems a bit drastic at first, but you'll thank me later when this fuck isn't wasting your time and not respecting you as a person. This hit me deep, people. I'm, I'm offended. So, I've decided now to kill this man. He's not even halfway across. Should be easy. So I grip the wheel tight. I rev the engine. Danger zone comes on the radio. This must be a sign from God above. So I crank that shit up. I'm now doing the Lord's work. It just makes sense. That usually goes over huge in the South. It wouldn't mean shit up North. Maybe I'll get a statue. <laughs> Hell, they might even name this crosswalk after me. All I gotta do, I just gotta turn this man into red paste on the ground. It's so easy, it's so simple, it's gonna feel great. And by the time I'm ready, oh, he's gone. <laughs> well, uh, this is, this is very premature. I'm not used to this, but it's, it's a bit emblematic of all your love lives, you know? We had a few laughs, some ups and downs, some smiles, and by the end, it just got messy, sad, and had a limp finish. Let him out, folks! James Wilsnagger, let him hear it! Comedian and motivational speaker, James Wilsnagger. <laughs>